peekaboo, 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 peekaboo. The Christmassy cactus. This little cactus is so loved and so taken care of. And then Christmas comes along and she's feeling very left out, very left out. This book was written by Beth Ferry. Pictures are by A.N. Kang. And this book was published by Harper. Here we go, friends. Tiny Cactus lived on a big brown bookshelf. In the heart of the house and in the hearts of her family. Every morning, her little girl said, hello, my little cupcake. And every evening she cooed, who's the sweetest little bonbon? Then one morning, she said something she had never said before. Time to decorate for Christmas, little ginger snap. And Tiny Cactus saw things she had never seen before. Shimmering things, sparkling things, twinkling, tinseling, transforming things. I cannot wait to be decorated, Tiny Cactus told her friend the elephant. I can't wait to be a part of Christmas. As she waited, New smells swirled from the kitchen. New songs floated through the air. And Tiny Cactus just knew something special was going to happen. Christmas books crowded the bookshelf, but Tiny Cactus didn't mind because they were full of amazing things. Things like Santa and magic and wishes. A wish she told her elephant, is exactly what I need. Because sometimes, just lately, her little girl forgot to blow her kisses or call her little cupcake. Sometimes she forgot about her completely. And Tiny Cactus knew why. How could anyone remember a tiny green spiny thing when there was a giant green piney thing sparkling in the living room. It was the most wonderful thing Tiny Cactus had ever seen. She watched her family gather around it and she made her wish it's not a big wish, she said to her elephant. It's really quite a small wish. Do you think the wishes of a tiny cactus could come true? I think all wishes come true if you believe in them enough, the elephant said. So every night, tiny cactus whispered her wish until finally it was Christmas day. Tiny Cactus watched her family rise and shine, hug and kiss, rip and unwrap, laugh and play. Fa la 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 la. Merry, Merry Christmas, Tiny Cactus, her little girl sang. But Tiny Cactus wasn't merry, not one little bit, because she was still she still wasn't decorated, not one little bit, not a sprinkle or a sparkle or a twinkle or a tinsel or spritz. I don't understand, she said to her elephant that night, poking at the Christmas books. In all these stories, wishes come true. Why didn't mine? The elephant carefully wiped away her tears. You have to believe in the magic of Christmas, he said. But it's hard to believe in the magic of Christmas when you don't feel like you're a part of Christmas. Look, he said, 
and pointed to the Christmas tree shimmering softly in the darkness, which was impossible because Tiny Cactus had seen her family turn off all the Christmas lights. But there it was, twinkling and tinseling and maybe, just maybe, telling her something. Maybe, just maybe, showing her. And that's when the window blew open. Tiny Cactus shivered in delight as snowflakes bounced off her head, twirled around her trunk, and swirled onto her spines. Soon, she wasn't a tiny green spiny thing, but a fluffy white shiny thing sparkling with snowflakes. And for one magical moment, her Christmas wish came true. But snowflakes, like Christmas, don't last very long. Oh no, said the elephant, they're gone. No, they're not, said Tiny Cactus, feeling each one melt into her soil. They're right here. The next morning, her little girl called, hello, my little cupcake. Then she said something else she had never said before. Look at you. Oh, look at you. You've bloomed, my little bonbon. Her family gathered around her. I didn't know she was a Christmas cactus, they said. But she was a tiny, spiny, delighted Christmassy cactus who had decorated herself. Oh, what a happy ending. The Christmassy cactus. I miss you, friends. Mwah.